Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. So today we're going to take a look at and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance for the new month. Okay, so we'll see um, what's coming up for you, um, for those of you that are singled or coupled up. Um, it is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. The other thing that I wanted to mention, there is going to be a part two to this reading where we're going to explore the details the message sorry in a lot more detail in a lot more in depth and that's going to be made available via the extension link below um, for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire i will be listing my email address just below the video here as well otherwise guys let's go ahead give the cards a shuffle and let's see uh what's what's being predicted for you for the new month okay Wow, I've just, okay, just bent that hard then. Bottom of the deck, you have the King of Swords. Okay, you've got both the King and the Queen of Swords here. Okay. Okay, guys, I feel like there's something here that's... You're brave, okay, whatever this is, it feels like you're brave enough to not run away from it. But you are hiding from it. So you're not necessarily running from it, but a part of you is hiding from it. It could be something to do with this mental narrative that you're telling yourself about a certain person or a certain um, uh, individual here. Um, it could have something to do with your beliefs here, okay? Um, and you're not necessarily, you're brave enough not to run away from it, but you are hiding from it, okay? And there is a difference here. So it, it's, you're going to have to confront someone or something, or perhaps even yourself. Because look, you've got the Ace of Swords and both the Queen and the King of Swords. Um, truth, okay? You're going to be seeking a truth. You're going to be identifying with the truth. You're going to be expecting the truth and nothing but the truth. Um, or you need to confront yourself and be very honest with yourself here. About uh, about yourself or a certain individual or a certain situation here. For example, you might have to break down your own walls here. Okay, or you might have to face a particular challenging character here in your life. Um, this is coming from a very deep emotional space, mind you. And this is something that has been really crowding your thoughts. And for example, you potentially, it could have something to do with you though. You might be engaging in self-sabotaging behavioral or emotional patterns. And it keeps getting in the way of romantic relationships. If you don't confront that, it's going to continue to sabotage current and all future relationships so it's best that it's it's not like you're running away from it but you're not but you're hiding from it so you're not really confronting it so you know what you have to do but you're not doing it so this month i feel like you are trying to seek clarity on a situation or you're trying to it feels like you're trying to chat about actual emotional problems okay whether you're seeking professional advice to someone um whether you're confronting a certain romantic energy here or a certain person um or like getting um, to the bottom of things but this feels very healing and very transformative as well for you okay um, what do we see for you here there's going to be a lot of communication here this month there's going to be a lot of communication now this could come from uh, I feel like you're feeling very connected here to people around you energies around you and I also feel like you're also, you're more than willing to address things here. Any conflict or, you know, talk, talking about things, um, airing things out here. I feel like you're readily taking on uh, responsibilities here as well. You, you've set high standards for yourself. Okay, and make sure you never, you don't lower those standards for anyone. I feel like you're very concentrated. You're very focused this month. 
And to me, it feels like you're truly valuing honesty, integrity, and respect in relationships and in commitments here as well. Now, for some of you, I feel like there's going to be some sort of conversation here is going to lead to a massive breakthrough, okay? You potentially could be breaking through to someone, finally getting through to someone. Someone could be breaking down your walls. You could be breaking down someone's walls here. Someone could be opening themselves up to you and just really sharing with you their most private thoughts, you know, their um, private emotions here, really being vulnerable and expressive with you here. I feel like there's an important conversation that I feel like is really going to set the tone for especially a romantic connection moving forward. So whether this is an existing energy or whether this is a new energy, if this person hasn't entered your life just yet, um, at first they may come across as very cold and distant. Um, you might even find yourself questioning whether or not this person is romantically interested in you or not. It, it's a facade. I feel like I, I can feel like this person wears some very heavy emotional armor. They have been hurt before. They have had their trust broken um, in the past. And, you know, trust is a funny thing. It can be once it's tore down, it can be very hard to to rebuild. Right. Um, so this, this person is coming from a place of emotional pain. But with you they will feel comfortable enough to slowly over time break down those walls and share it with you. If this is an existing energy this month, I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough in the relationship, but that's going to come about from a conversation. Okay, so some sort of conversation that you're going to have, it feels very heart to heart. It just feels very powerful and moving. This person is going to open up and they're really going to be open and honest with you. So the lover's card, you know, it predicts a very strong romantic energy here, but it's also self-expression as well. And I feel like this is someone who is, um, you know, they're, they're comfortable enough with you to open themselves up and um, be very vulnerable and open with you as well. Things are moving forward with a romantic energy here. Okay, so if you're... If you are romantically involved with someone here, I feel like the attraction here is building and the um, the attraction is building, the connection here is intensifying as well. Okay, someone potentially could find themselves falling in love with you. You potentially could find yourselves fall, falling in love with someone else, like with this person here. Um, and it feels like this, it feels like this person sees you and accepts you for who you are it's such a raw honest kind of energy behind this person again at first at first you might think they're a little bit cold or you know they're not interested or they're a little bit detached but that's just it's just how they come across it's just it, it's not them like as i've mentioned they are someone who keeps people at a distance because they've been hurt before um, and they're only trying to protect protect their fragile hearts here Some of you are going to be cutting ties here, okay? You're going to be cutting ties with certain energies or certain people in your life that I feel like... It could also be like patterns or behaviors as well. You're cutting ties there. And this is no longer serving you, okay? Um, and on the other hand, though, you cut ties with someone, you know, on the other hand, it brings in, it creates room and space in your life for a new romantic energy to enter. Your next relationship here with this person... Your, yeah, your next relationship here um, with this wonderful romantic energy is going to be a, um, it's going to bring in long, long term results. Okay, so this is going to be someone who is going to want to go the distance or someone who's going to want to stick around. Um, I feel like this is going to be very raw, very pure. Um, it feels like very, it's a soul honoring connection here. I'm also seeing. Um, quite a steamy energy between you and this person. So a very strong attraction, an instant connection or instant attraction towards one another. Um, you know what? I feel like there's two people here. I feel like there's two people. I don't know if this person is a twin. I don't think they have um, multiple personalities. I don't think it's that. They're either a twin or you're going to have to choose between two different people because I feel like you're... Your love life is a, um, 
is getting spiced up this month, okay? And I feel like it's because you have either you're going to be coupled up here or you're, you're in a relationship, but then you might potentially meet someone whom you can't help it. You're attracted to this person and this person is attracted to you. And maybe you're then going to be put in a position where you're going to have to decide between these two energies, you know, your current lover um, versus this new lover. Or, you know, if you're single right now, I feel like there will be two very potential and very compatible romantic energies that co that come into your life here and you're going to have to decide it's going to be a hard decision because you're going to be attracted to both um, you're going to really want to explore both connections but I don't know that you can have your cake and eat it too here um, I did say that you're speaking your truth here I feel like you've, you're you're speaking your truth um, some of you also feel like you're pursuing some sort of fantasy or I don't know if you've had some sort of long-held fantasy or a vision or like a, a daydream of some sort. You're going to be pursuing that. There's something here that's t um, it, this, it's going to take a turning point in your life here. Um, this is going to be a very busy month here. And I feel like especially in the love and romance department, things are going to be heating up. But for you, I think you're going to be very busy here. I see you doing a lot. So in part two of the reading, we're going to try and explore this... Um, the details around this new romantic energy or you know around these two different energies that i see for you what is this truth that you're speaking who you're cutting ties with and any other messages that come up for you okay and what's this turning point as well because something shifts something shifts for you okay we'll see what that is so um, follow me to the extension video which is made by the extension link below I just want to thank you guys for your time your energy and attention it's greatly appreciated and for those of you interested in a personalized reading please feel free to reach out otherwise thanks guys bye